kemur. Rima, fa, tor, rua, tahi, fiwa. The hardest part has been watching people around me. You know, because this, this journey isn't just me, it's... Um, yeah. It hurts. It hurts the people close to me. Um, so my dad, my siblings, um, my daughter. Uh, my daughter, Ayurangi, uh, and just trying to, um, you know, let them know that I'm okay. This is Tapu Tapu Aatea Marae. The party's just started here at the Māori uh, headquarters. Crossing She's life. been the face of legacy Māori broadcasting for just under two decades. Te ao marama. Tuta hiake ki nata tauranga o te wā. Te karere. Ko tēnei mō te ao tōranga pū. Te kaia. Kei nā mau nā whakateitei. Native Affairs. A tū hoi koe is a special blend of native plants. But now, Peata is the news. So in 2023, in December last year, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, it was a shock to me because I had been uh, for my mammogram earlier that year and nothing showed up. It was clear. Uh, so when I found this lump in my breast, I found it myself. Uh, just accidentally rolled over in a really strange way and felt a lump there. Uh, and went in to get it checked by my doctor. Wasn't worried. I thought it could just be a benign lump or something. And three weeks later, found out that it was uh, cancerous. Stage three breast cancer, that was the diagnosis. It's been the greatest challenge of her life. It's massively life-changing and it was dealing with uh, the medications that I was going to take. So um, having what I called poisons at first go through all my body. I later reframed that. Um, after talking with a counsellor because I had to get my head around taking in all this medicine on my body and the impacts that it was going to have, you know. So um, I'm usually out on the water, I don't know, three to seven times a week. Um, I understood that I was going to get fatigued and um, be worn out and be not... I think they said I wouldn't be able to operate at 100% or maybe 60 70%. So my first concern was, you know, in terms of my life, I'm really busy. I do lots of things. I'm active, um, sports, and at the time I was doing kapahaka, so down um, in Rotoru every weekend. Sensation, it's a bit of a mind game with it, isn't it? Yeah, but it's fine. But apart from that... So it, that's why it was a little bit... Peata has allowed us to follow her journey, full access. Yeah. So we know that the lymph nodes have responded very well. Uh, Twelve nodes, that's so many. We took, that's how many we took out, yeah, yeah. but only one of them had cancer oh, yeah, in it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This was a fortnight ago, the very best of news, after months of desperate uncertainty. We've probably got an appointment in this pipeline anyway. We're down for discussion on Thursday, so we're discussing your results with the oncologist on Thursday. Yeah. And then we'll have a good old talk about it and they'll come up with a plan. And we'll, at that point we'll double check when your next appointment is because they'll want to sort of figure out what we do next. What, what, what mm. happens next, okay. Yeah. You just had your post-op consultation. How do you think it went? It's all preventative treatment from now on, but you know, even the surgery itself was from all accounts on the scans and everything, the cancer had gone, but they still had to go in and remove the tissue anyway to double check. Um, that and, and it was, you know, but um, yeah, it's all preventative stuff mm. going forward. And throughout it all, Peata has come into the studio every day to bring you the news. I thought that losing my hair, you know, the image thing would be the worst thing, but it, actually when it happened, it, it wasn't, I, yeah, because, you know, I'm all about, um, yeah, presentation and everything, and looking good and, and you know, and um, being all put together, but, um, so I thought that would be the hardest part, but it wasn't. 
um, because there were people, other people involved on this journey on me. There's still in the game where you see the grit and determination on the face. This is what's given her the strength to fight, Wakama. She's always been a fierce competitor. It's what you this Piata getting their canoe around. I treated this as a Wakama race, right? So <laughs> I knew I had six sessions of chemo to go. So I went, right, it's a six turn Wakama race. And at each turn, um, how do I prepare myself mentally, physically and everything when I'm doing a waka ama race? So diet, has, diet exercise basically, right? So I was going, yep, do that, do that. Each turn, I thought, okay, we're coming up to a turn, a turn as in a session of chemo. Um, am I fully prepared, fully rested? Well, all those kinds of things. Um, then we'll do that and then I'd come out of the chemo and go, okay, now this is when we go into um, a, a longer stroke for recovery as we go to the next turn. Yeah, so that's mentally how I mapped it out in my head. After the break, the whakapapa, the fight and the hope. More with Pia to Melbourne next. Yeah, so we lost Uncle Sid to cancer. He was diagnosed with terminal cancer. I had just finished uni, so it was, I think it was my last year of uni and my first year at Te Karebe when, um, when we lost Uncle Sid. Cancer was always a shadow in Peata's life. It runs deep in her whakapapa. A few years later, we lost mum to ovarian cancer. And that was a testing time for me as well. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, both young. Uncle Sid was only 53. I think mum was in her early 60s. Uh, so, you know, she got, we came back from a tangi one time, she got told she had a week to live. She ended up living nine weeks, but um, yeah. It was all quite sudden. Just this month, Green's co-leader Marama Davidson announced her breast cancer diagnosis. A biopsy then confirmed I have breast cancer. The government also made a U-turn announcement that they will now fund 13 cancer drugs. National will invest $280 million over four years to fund the 13 cancer treatments. Chemo or radiation is the conventional treatment, and Peata has accepted that. But she's also using alternatives, drawing on Matauranga Māori and CBD oil byproducts. So did my research, and then you know there were all these little concoctions that I was having. So I was having one that my brother made up. Um, and then I was having all this manuka stuff that he brought from the East Coast for me. And then I was having kawa kawa. And then I was going to see the Chinese doctor for the acupuncture. So I was open to all of it, and including um, uh, cannabis, um, medicinal cannabis, which is available to um, cancer patients and stuff. But um, I found that super helpful. Another cost to her is her love for haka, making the hard decision to stand down at the last Te Arawa regionals. And we're going to go over Akumahi and probably Ngāiwiye or Kuarongo. We are left first. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that you had to stand down for where were his last regionals must have been a big decision for you to make. It was big and I made it with my tutor. Um, you know, and uh, even if I go back to the first day I was diagnosed, the first things that came to my mind was, I can't do kapahaka anymore, I can't do wakaame anymore. And kapahaka, you know, for, at this particular moment in my life is a big deal because it's my journey with my girl, you know, and taking her back to kapahaka and back to my kapahaka group. So that, that, was, uh, that was hard for me to take. really proud moment and um, yeah it almost ended up being better I think being able to sit there and watch her yeah then be up there on the stage with her she don't need me anymore she's a big girl yeah 
She's hopeful and remains positive that once she makes a full recovery, she will put her pupu back on and take her place back in her kapa. In the meantime, Peata is standing tall and strong, turning up every day for shifts in the studio. What she draws on is whānau, whakapapa and wairua. This is what keeps me feeling safe, is that I know they're always with me. And even when I went to one chemo session, I had a nurse say to me, she was like, oh gosh, you're very spiritual, aren't you? And I went, oh, are you? She's like, I get to see them all around you. <laughs> And hopes are high, the prognosis so far looks positive and Peata is taking every day at a time and giving it her all.